Great. I don't know if I'm live, but if I am, howdy folks. My name is Meridius9, and today we are going to be building a small little cargo ship mod from scratch. So, I was planning to do this in a bunch of smaller separate videos, but to be honest, the, the editing thing wasn't really working for me, so I figured I'd give it a shot this way and you know, see what happens. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's get this started. So, the first thing we want to do is to set up our mod folder. To do that, uh, from your desktop, you're going to hold down the Windows key and press R. You'll get this little run window. In the run window, you're going to type in percent, and then app data, all one word, percent again, hit OK. That's going to bring you to this uh, roaming folder. In here, you should have a space engineers folder. You're going to open that up. And then in here, you're going to go to the mods folder. Now, if you haven't done any modding before, this folder is going to be empty, and that's okay. So in here, we're going to create a new folder, and we're just going to call this an example mod. We're going to go inside of it, and inside that folder, we're going to create another new folder. We're going to call this one data. And then inside this one, we're going to create one more new folder. We're going to call this one prefabs. This is where we're going to save our grids. All right. So now that we have all that, we're actually going to go in game and we're going to set up a ship. So let's go ahead and launch that now. I think I might have had this all set up beforehand, but I am no pro streamer. Yeah, so we're just going to quickly create a new empty world just to mess about with here. Here we go. And we're going to grab a blueprint. So here's one that I had prepared. Ship A, as you can see my naming conventions are the best. So a couple of things we're going to check on the ship before we export it for use in an NPC mod. We are going to open up this and check to see if this ship has a remote control. That is going to be an important part of this, which it does appear to have it, so that's all good. And the next thing we're going to do is just make sure that things like doors and all that are not open, otherwise people can just kind of waltz in. So this one was already closed, and there's not much of an interior in here, so not really worried about the rest. Okay. Now, depending on how you're setting up your mod, um, you may want to go through and add things to inventory, like uh, ammo to turrets and ice to O2 generators, things like that. Um, if you're using MES though, um, there are options to do a lot of that automatically, so for the sake of keeping things short, we're not going to do any of that in this video. We're just going to take the ship as we have it and do our export. So, to export the ship, what you're going to do is you're going to point your crosshair at it, and then do Control c to copy it. Uh, from there you can just hit Escape, then you're going to hit F11 on your keyboard, and you're going to go to this option here, Export Clipboard to File. So since we've done that, that has now exported it. Where did it go? Well, I'm going to show you. So we're going to go back to our Mods folder that we were just in, and we're going to go back a few layers, back to here. So just the Roaming Space Engineer section. There's a folder in here called Export. If we go in here, we're going to find the ship that we just exported. So we're actually going to grab that, and we are going to cut it. And we are going to go back into our mod folder, into prefabs, and we're going to drop it in here. Now, it's important that you don't rename this file. Um, reason being, there's, there's some association with it that we're going to be using with another file, and if you break that, then it just causes all sorts of trouble. If you really do want to rename it, the safest way to rename it is to go back in game go into the uh, terminal here and then rename it from here so give it like an actual name for example all right 
So, now that we've got our ship exported, we are now going to open up our web browser. Open up on the screen. Actually, no, let's not do it from the web browser. We'll actually open it up from the Steam client. We're going to go to the workshop. We are going to look for MES in here. Here we go. And at the bottom, there is this section here, resources. And we're going to click on this first option here for looking for config admin options and all that. So this is going to bring us into the, the GitHub wiki page for MES. So once we're here, we're going to scroll down and look in this side menu here on the right. We're going to look for these template example files, and we're going to go to Spawn Group. And once we're in here, we're going to right click. Actually, no, we're not going to right click yet. We're going to hit this raw button right here. There we go. Then we're going to right click and we're going to say save page as. And I'm just going to throw this on the desktop for now. But I'm just going to call this spawn group dot SBC. Make sure you put the save, save as type to all files. Otherwise it might try to save as a text file and, and that'll probably give you trouble too. So we're going to save that and we're going to go back to our desktop. There's our spawn group file. We're going to cut that. And then we're going to go back in here, just into the data folder. And we're going to drop that spawn group right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to open this using Notepad++. Now, I'll, I'm not going to get into the installation of that right now, but um, in the video description, once this is all done, I'll put a link to a, an installer for you. Okay, one moment. Okay, so this is what we've got here for our spawn group. So what this file does is it controls basically how this encounter is going to spawn in the world, and also what ships are included in the encounter. So what we want to do is we want to give this a unique name. So we're going to give this something like example mod spawn group test ship. There we go. All right, and you don't have to use this exact formatting. You can use pretty much anything you want in this subtype IDs field, just as long as it's unique to you, to your mod and your encounters. You don't want to reuse the same one for multiple encounters, otherwise you'll get some that load, some that don't, and makes a mess. All right, so for this ship, we're just going to keep it pretty simple, and we're going to do a space cargo ship. I don't know if that ship is atmospheric capable or not. You know, we can just double check real quick. You know what? It's got enough, it's got enough hydrogen thrust. I think we can make it a, an atmospheric one too, so let's, let's do that. So we're going to make space cargo ship true and atmospheric cargo ship true. Okay. And the faction owner, we're just going to stick with the good old space pirate. So SPRT for the faction tag. Replenish systems. What this is going to do is it's going to go through and automatically fill things like ammo and ice and fuel and things like that so that you don't have to. Basically what I was talking about earlier when we were talking about the uh, inventory systems. So let's see here. Now here we have the uh, prefab subtype ID. So this we actually want to use the name of that file that we found earlier. So let's go back into prefabs. We're going to take this here. We're going to take everything but the .spc, copy that. And we're going to bring it in here go and we're going to save that okay so with that we are pretty much done everything we need to do to make this simple encounter work so we are going to go back to our main menu and we can save we're going to load game we're going to go to edit settings we're going to go to mods and we're going to take our example mod and put it in here. Hit OK, OK, and we're going to open that world back up. Here we go. 
now we're going to type in slash mes dot gesap caps. I have forgotten one small important little thing. It would help if we had mes loaded in this world. There we go. All right, round two. go. Alright, let's try that chat command again. Here we go. So our eligible spawns have been sent to the clipboard. We're going to come back and go back into Notepad++. We'll open up a new file. We're going to go through here and see if ours appears in the Space and Lunar Cargo eligible list. And look at that, it does. So let's go ahead and click that. And then in-game, we're going to do enter slash mes dot SSCS. So this is short for Spawn Space Cargo Ship. Then we're going to put a dot and put our spawn group name at the end of it. And then hit enter. Okay. Now, I don't actually see it, but the reason for that is probably because we forgot to turn on an antenna on this ship. So, yeah, one more thing to add to your, your grid checklist. Make sure you get an antenna turned on, otherwise you'll spawn things, but won't be able to see them. So let's do some admin cheating here and see if we can find it. So there's our actual name one, but here is the one that we just spawned. It is just cruising along, and if we get close to it, it's not going to be happy with us. There we go. And so that's got it. That is how you set up a really simple space cargo ship mod. Um, to add additional encounters, all you really have to do is come back into your spawn group file. You take everything from this copy line here down to this one, copy it below, and then you just give it a, a new name and then a new prefab, and then adjust whatever other settings that you need to adjust for the encounter. Alright, so if anyone has any questions about any of this, um, feel free to reach out to me in the comments or um, hop on the Discord. I'll be around um, usually on the weekends, but um, anytime I do have time to answer questions, I'm, I'm more than happy to. Alright folks, hope you enjoy your day. Take care.